Hi, this is Jeff Lesher with What's the Point? And I, I struggled this week about where to focus. I really wanted to focus on citizenship, uh, mostly in light of the recent school shooting, the latest school shooting at a high school in Michigan where there was parental authority forsaken, school responsibility forsaken, and four young people dead. Uh, as a result. And I, I think I'm going to let that settle a bit before commenting on it more directly. Uh, but it is an important message for all of us that fundamentally our individual rights are only valuable if we value the rights and really the, the well-being of others. And so let's do that. Um, for this week, I, I want to take it down about 27 notches and say that I, I read an interesting piece the other day that indicated, based on data from Indeed.com, a big job search website, that the least popular role out there, or the hardest to fill, is that of assistant manager. And there are a lot of reasons why, one of which is that unfortunately employers take advantage of a shift from non-exempt, uh, a position that gets paid overtime, to exempt a position that is salaried only uh, in order to get more out of people with uh, too often empty promises of advancement. Uh, but what I took away from it is a, a little more tied into the expertise that we have uh, at SHIFT as an organization focusing on high performance. And I've talked about this a lot, which is the creation of clarity about role excellence and the emphasis on growth and mobility, which is different than a career path. So whatever you call a job, and kind of parenthetically and ironically, <laughs> this story that I am referencing suggested that uh, one uh, strategy for making it easier to fill the assistant manager job is to relabel it. And one entity, I believe a fast food restaurant, has relabeled it to be general manager. Well, that's some serious BS right there. It is where the opportunities are consistently and also how people are treated, including recognition and reward, but also in terms of schedule, uh, the amount of hours that they work and the flexibility of those hours that they work. So for all of you out there, who are probably experiencing some struggle in hiring enough of the right people and in engaging them fully, quickly, in ways that prolong the level of discretionary effort that they're willing to invest in you. Think differently about your roles, less about what you call them and more about what their opportunity is to contribute where they are to grow in the role that they have and potentially to progress within the organization, but also to progress elsewhere. So that if you can really create a dotted line boundary around your entity, where it may behoove me as an employee to work there for a year and a half, knowing that you will support and help guide me towards a destination outside of the organization, because that's the flow that we establish, that's pretty freaking good. The point should be for all of us, get out of the game of trying to trick people into giving you what you want and earn it. And if you do that, you'll be even better.